I uh, told an untruth the last time I was up here. I said that I would never be this serious again. Scandalous. <laughs> How dare you? Well, I lied, and I'm sorry. Oh, I'm shocked at all. But um, <laughs> with that said, I will, I will say uh, just pay attention because I'll never be this serious again. <laughs> Until the next time that I say that line. My inner voice starts off as a whisper. A faint voice speaks for these thoughts that I have that words these emotions, softly spoken, feather light. Much like my external voice, it's calm and collected as I can make it. I think I speak softly for fear of being too loud. Softly spoken out of tact, maybe. Or softly spoken out of pride, perhaps. <laughs> softly spoken because it's the only way that I know how to be. Because for years I was taught silence, to repress, to keep my voice at level because the ears around me would not listen otherwise, no. And the words spoken to me always seem to speak over me, teaching me to be contained, controlled, collected, and seemingly calm. But all the while, my inner voice became louder, more audible, as well as these thoughts and says that these emotions are raw, tender to the touch if it had a touch. Because I am not those things, because my mind itself is abstract and contradictory, bending and twisted at odd angles, stretching into impossible possibilities, reaching out, yearning to share, to grow and evolve and flow into more thoughts and experience more emotions and feelings. And my inner voice, I hear, I hear something I refuse to repeat. I refuse out of tact, maybe, or out of pride. I refuse because for years I was taught to ignore, to repress, to keep my voice at level because the ears around me would not listen otherwise, no, and the words spoken to me always seemed to fade away, a distant memory, a memory teaching me to be contained, controlled, collected, and seemingly calm. But then my inner voice became more agitated, peeved. telling me these words that should not be ignored and threatening to spill out all of these emotions and cave into impulse, harsh, irritated to the touch if it had a touch. Because I know I am more than those things, because myself is ever changing and ever needing, ever desiring and ever growing and ever threatening to overload, to expel, to wander off beaten off organization. And I hear my inner voice, I hear, something I refuse to acknowledge. Refuse out of tact, <laughs> tact. Even though in my mind I've already overstepped that boundary, refuse out of pride? What a pathetic excuse that's turning, to me, turning out to be. Refuse because for years I was taught to refuse, but the excuses are running thin and becoming redundant and louder and louder. My inner voice is asking me, why? Because I should keep myself at, at level. Yeah. Why? Because I have to be contained, controlled, collected, seemingly, seemingly calm. Why? And then my inner voice began to scream 
yelling at me these thoughts that I say, and these emotions and these needs that I long to fulfill, those words I have not said aloud ripping through me like a natural disaster, carrying within the power of a thousand fires with every unheard syllable, trembling throughout my body, shaking the very foundation of my, of my control, starting at my core, spreading to the tips of my fingertips, reaching to the top of my head, pouring out the corners of my eyes, liquid fire. Woo. These things I keep hearing. These words I haven't said, these thoughts that I've laid aside, the one plea I ignore, repeating in my mind, weighing on my mind, breaking my heart, no longer, hear me. I am more than self-collected guys, more than pent-up containment, more than collective facade and posture. Hear me. I am more than what you see. I am more than an audible, an audible whisper, and I am more than an incomplete thought. I am more than what I was made to be, and you will hear me. Please. Don't, don't fade away. I am more than those memories. Underneath this silence speaks a mind in question, a world of intensity, so much so I, I fear my own fire, but I am more. I am more, every day. And now there is peace, balance, a tranquility calming the rage of my emotional mutilation for my inner voice is now in sync with my external one. I become one, complete but subject to change. And I vocalize as much, softly spoken at first, only to strain the ears around me so that you will listen softly spoken because I will be heard. <laughs>